free slash libre, and open source software, flaws. Free, or libre software is computer software, that is distributed under licenses that allow all users, to run the software for any purpose, to study and modify it, and, redistribute it, as well as any modified version. Free software is often contrasted to proprietary software. Free software and open source software history. Up until the early 70s, software was distributed in source form, and it was acceptable that users would modify the software for their own use. Source code was commonly shared by individuals and companies, often as public domain software. Most companies had a business model based on hardware sales, and bundled software with it. They also welcomed software by others, as it made their hardware useful. By the late 60s, early 70s, the business model for software changed. A new software industry started to sell software directly, rather than fund its development from hardware revenue. By the early 80s some companies started to use technical measures to prevent users from studying or adapting the software to their needs. A common such technical measure was to distribute only binary copies of the computer programs, and no source code. In 1980, the copyright law in the USA was extended to computer programs. Previously computer programs were considered to be ideas, procedures, methods, systems, and processes, which are not copyrightable. In 1983, Richard Stallman, author of the Emacs Editor, and member of the hacker community at the MIT Artificial Intelligence Laboratory, announced the GNU project. The purpose of the GNU project was to produce a completely non-proprietary Unix-compatible operating system. In his initial declaration of the project and its purpose, he specifically cited as a motivation, his opposition to being asked to agree to non-disclosure agreements and restrictive licenses, which prohibited the free sharing of potentially profitable and development software, a prohibition directly contrary to the traditional hacker ethic. Software development for the GNU operating system began in January 1984. In October 1985, Richard Stallman founded the Free Software Foundation, FSF, in order to support the free software movement, which promotes the universal freedom to study, distribute, create, and modify computer software, preferably distributed under share-alike terms. At that time, Richard Stallman developed a free software definition and the concept of copyleft, designed to ensure software freedom for all. In the early 90s, Linus Torvalds released the Linux kernel as free software. The GNU project lacked a kernel, and the Linux kernel provided a missing part that made a GNU system possible. FreeBSD and NetBSD, both derived from 386 BSD, were released as free software in 1993 and OpenBSD forks from NetBSD in 1995. In 1997, Eric S. Raymond published the essay The Cathedral and the Bazaar. The essay contains an analysis of two free software development methods, one by a small group of software developers, the Cathedral, and one where the software is developed in the open, with contribution by many contributors, the Bazaar. The paper was one factor in motivating Netscape Communications Corporation to release their popular Netscape Communicator Internet Suite as free software. That suite evolved to the contemporary Mozilla Firefox and Mozilla Thunderbird. Netscape's act prompted Raymond and others to look into how to bring the FSF's free software ideas and perceived benefits to the commercial software industry. FSF's social activism was not appealing to companies like Netscape. They looked for a way to rebrand the free software movement, to emphasize the business potential of sharing and collaborating on software source code. The new name they chose was Open Source. In February 1998, the Open Source Initiative was founded, in order to encourage the use of the open source software term, and promote its principles. The initial response to free software and open source software, by the commercial vendors, was that it threatened their business model and that it was an intellectual property destroyer. For many years free software and open source software played a special role, mainly in the server part of computing. More recently, 
the success of free operating systems, such as Linux, BSD and the companies based on free and open source software, such as Red Hat, has changed the software industry's attitude, and there has been a dramatic shift in the corporate philosophy concerning the development of free and open source software.